be making basics. What's going on YouTube, Be Making Basics, back again with another dope video. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe because we're coming back to back with bangers. Now today's video, I'm actually gonna be answering another subscriber question. They asked about, you know, 808 sound design and how to save the audio sample. So what I'm gonna do actually first before we do that is cook up a small, like a short um, loop, all right? And then we're gonna jump into how we would um, create and design an 808, our own 808. So let me just come over here. We're gonna create another track here. I'm just gonna go with a default patch, probably go with a piano, come to the top left, open up the library. We'll just get a nice like little grand piano or ballad piano or something like that. So I'm using my MIDI keyboard. I'll just kind of pull this out so we can kind of see what I'm doing here. So I'm going to do something like that. I'm going to hold this other note down. So something simple like that, I'll go ahead and quantize it. I'm gonna do a force legato on this, this uh, bottom note, right click it. Okay, it didn't quite work. bet so that's that's good of enough of a loop or a melody to get this rolling um next thing we're going to do is 808 sound design so in logic there is a option to design your own 808s and stuff like that so if you actually go to the midi aspect of things when it comes to creating a new track and you come down here what you want to do is go to what's called the drum synth and then you can do it mono or stereo doesn't matter but this is the drum synth. And then the first default is kicks. And under kick is basically where we're gonna be able to create our own 808. So I'll just come over here and this, dec this the uh, decay is gonna extend the sound longer. So if you wanted like an 808 that extends. Let me pull up my musical typing again. See how it kind of extends lo uh, longer. You can affect the pitch. Um, put some saturation on it. Sounds pretty dope. So let's now kind of match it to what this is doing. All right, bet. So we know that it's pretty much the G. Now, if you want to take this and input it as an actual 808 sound, there's some more things we can do. I'm gonna go ahead and go back to uh, the inspector window. Basically, it's gonna show this in a vertical. And I'm gonna go ahead and just
cool. Once we record it, what we can now do is like come over here and add effects to it if we want. And um, just to make it simple, I'm just gonna take this loop and just put it over the first bar. So now let's go put some uh, you know different effects on here. Let's the first thing we'll probably do is do do an EQ. So we got an EQ on it. Now we can go and maybe also look into doing a compressor. And um, I'm going to try to keep, you know, the plugins I put on here like stock so that anybody who doesn't have the other plugins won't, you know, have to worry about that. Um, I also go ahead and throw a little di distortion on it again. Put this chroma chroma, uh, chroma glow on there. This is what comes with Logic Pro 11. So. And then I put this expander on there. So this is pretty much good enough at this point to now take this right click on it and then you can just go bounce in place. And once you bounce into place, what that's gonna do is create an audio file of this. So you can change the name later, but now I got this audio file. Just push T and then that pulls up your tools Then you go to fade tool. I'll put a fade right there. Now, pretty much I have something that I can work with that can turn into an 808 that I can use in all of my productions. So I can take this and drag it over here to the right, right where this gray area is. You're gonna see where you have some options here. I'm just gonna throw it into the quick sampler, put it original, and now I have my 808 here. Of course, you know, I'm using my MIDI keyboard and I can play it up to scale. Now, the cool thing is I can come over here and put a glide on it under pitch. We can go to filter.
just gonna leave the filter alone. But pretty much uh, we have this uh, sample now ready to go. Um, turn that down. Now it's not peaking and it sounds good, okay. All right, and then if you wanted to too, you can add like a kick with this to beef this up some. So like, I'm just gonna go over here and lay like a kick with this 808 real quick and then we'll drag it back in there. I kind of just wanted to show you the whole process just dragging and drop it in there, but you know, you can add a kick with this too. do that now there's a whole nother sample that you can use as well so okay cool we had this um just depending on what you want to do, you can either keep it as is, or I'm just going to go ahead and double it. So we got one 808 that's without the kick and one with, with it. I can drag and drop this right in here. Same different. All right, cool. So we got our 808, one with a kick with one without. Now let's talk about if you want to save this. So if I want to save this, go where you see user default and just go save as, and then you'll just name it. So I'll just say 808, I'll, I'll call this a mad 808 with kick, all right? And then like this one right here, we just call that mad 808, go to default, save as, Boom. Now what I'm going to do is to delete all of this except for the melody. All right. So we got our melody again. Now you want to bring that 808 back up that you that we designed and saved into Logic. Go ahead and push the plus sign to create a new track under MIDI, then go to instrument and go to quick sampler and you, you know it's up to you whether you want to do it mono or stereo just depending on how the 808 sounds to you but we're going to do go down to default you could either go load or the sound would be listed under here somewhere so we'll go to the m's and as you can see we got the mad 808 with the kick and mad 808 so let's bring up the 808 There you got it. Appreciate y'all watching. Make sure you go to my website, bemakingbasics.com. We have courses, kits, templates, and then also ways for you to work with me personally. One-on-ones, I'll mix your beats. Um, we can collaborate, do beat reviews, all that is there at the site, bemakingbasics.com. Make sure you get subscribed to the channel as well. We do drop often here, free videos on the channel. And then if you want something more, again, go to the site or you can go ahead and join the channel perks, okay? Just $30 a month, and then you can pretty much get videos that not everybody else has. So I'm going to be dropping a whole lot more videos in uh, the members section of the YouTube channel this month. So make sure you, you stay tuned for that. Um, again, head to the website, check that out. And if you're brand new, get subscribed. Appreciate y'all watching. I'll see you in the next video route.